Hey friends, today I have to discuss a very serious topic that is flooding through the online photography world. This is such a dire topic that I've chosen to shoot it in front of the ugliest sponge painted wall in my house just so that there's no illusion of happiness in this video. In fact, this photo is too happy for this too so we need to get rid of it. Before we begin, I ask you, the film photographer, that if any of your loved ones or significant others are in the house, that you round them up so they can watch this video with you, as this affects all of us. The problem that you've probably already gathered from the title of this video is film photographers referring to medium format film as 120 millimeter film. This is an epidemic spreading across the internet. I mean, just look, look at Instagram. Hashtag 125mm film. It's broken the 100,000 K mark. This professional lab in New York City processing price sheet, 120 and 220mm films. Even fucking Adorama, when I ordered some Portra in the email response, it said 120mm film. This is getting out of hand. But I'll be damned if I go to my grave having not taken a moment to put my foot down into the right side of history on this topic, right here and now, and trying to correct this mixed message. So firstly, for my fellow Americans who are watching this video, you probably don't even know what a millimeter is. So, quick lesson. A millimeter is a unit of distance measurement that is popular all around the world except in America. To put it into a more American terms of a distance you probably understand, a millimeter is equal to one 109,728th of a football field. Roughly the same number of tags it has on Instagram right now as a fractional. So now that you understand that that's a very tiny, tiny distance, let's continue on why it's not 120 millimeter film. So back in the early days of photography, when Mr. Kodak is busting his ass, creating all sorts of weird cameras for roll film, they use a designation system starting with 100 and each new roll, size and shape they invented got incremented 100, 101, 102, blah 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 until about 130 and then after that it seemed like it went off the charts and they just kind of willy nilly named stuff whatever they wanted. But the thing is, those designations, the two that are still alive today are 120 and this guy, 135 or better known by its street name little 35 millimeter. The fun fact about the 135 format is that the width of the film is also equal to 35 millimeters. So what you get is the format 135 and the actual street name of 35 millimeter kind of overlapping. 135, 35 millimeter, 135, 35 millimeter, bup, 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 bup. I can see it very easily being a thing where New photographers see these two numbers and assume that the designation number indicates the millimeter size. However, this isn't true regarding 120 film. Look right here. It's about 60-ish millimeters tall. Not 120, not 20, 60-ish. The only way you might possibly get away with calling this 120 millimeter film is if you are shooting the 6 by 12 centimeter panoramic format that's about yay big and measure it by the total width of the frame which no one does so if you try to pull that shit around here it's not gonna fly if you're still not convinced let me show you something here we have a unopened roll of 120 film and here we have an unopened roll of 220 film notice something else the light works if this is 220 millimeters, and this is 120 millimeters, why the shit isn't it twice, nearly twice the tallness of the other one? You know why? Because those are the designation numbers and not the actual film height in millimeters. Checkmate. So, I understand that it's very possible that you've been mislabeling your photos out of pure innocence. We all started out sometimes and make mistakes. It's perfectly okay. You know, like, it's kind of running rampant, so 
you start typing hashtag 120 film and Instagram, the, the robot AI goes beep, 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 120 millimeters and you're like, oh, that must be what it is because the robots say so. Innocent. It's totally cool. This is a video made with love. Now that you've understand that there's a difference between 120 film and 120 millimeters, I want you to use this knowledge to help staunch the wound that is bleeding all over the internet film photography, social medias, and clean up your old stuff if you've tagged it incorrectly, and moving forward, know that there's a proper term and you might be misusing it. It's fine. So now I have just a little bit of homework. I ask that you shut off this video, go to your Instagram or whatever you post your pictures on, and if you think you've mistagged a photo, delete those tags and update them to the proper ones. It'll be very much appreciated. And if you are watching this video with your loved ones or significant others, please let it roll, because I have a special message for just them while you are off fixing your social media tagging. It's okay. Take your time getting out of here. I'll wait. Hmm. Oh, that's an ass. Nice, nice. Hmm. Interesting. Is he gone? So here's the deal. I need you to help with this war on this scourge of film mislabeling. You are the ground troops here because you are the people who can affect these film photographers the most to get this change to happen. So here's what I need you to do. Let him, let it, give him an hour to go and clean up what he's cleaning up. And then you go to their social media profile and just give it a flip. Give it a flip. If anything says hashtag 125 millimeter film or any variation of that, it's time to lay down the law. Here's what you do. I'm, I'm, this is, it's gonna be hard, but sometimes you gotta be stern with those you love. You need to first Take away the keys to his Hasselblad, and you're like, it's gotta be, you gotta be stern. I mean, you love him, but it's, it's, this requires some hard love. And you'd be like, Jonathan, you're not getting these keys back until you clean those tags up off of your social media profile. If, if, like, I love you, but if, if you don't know what 120 millimeters is, what, what's in the future when you miss, miss, when you mismeasure something else and it totally ruins our relationship. Like, what would your dead father think? He was a carpenter! <laughs> and then, let's give him a week. Check the, check the media, and if it still has the 125 millimeter tag, you break up. It's that simple. If it's your son you're watching this with, he's out of the will. I mean, this is a war, and you are the troops, and this is what has to happen. God bless. I didn't break it. <laughs>